Hello everyone, welcome back to the Geospatials. So in this tutorial we are going to try out some simple SQL queries and see what we get. So what is SQL? Uh, in simple terms, it's a way of asking questions to your database or updating items or even deleting items from your database. So there are various verbs of SQL and there are usually four. There is the select, insert, update and delete. Select basically returns rows in response to a query. Insert adds a new row. Update alters an existing row. And delete removes the rows from a table. So uh, this is the simplest form of select. So we'll be most of our queries will be select, but maybe in the future we'll try out insert and update or delete. So this one uh, checks the version of PostGIS. Select PostGIS full version. So PostGIS full version is a function, and you can see it ends with uh, some brackets. So it does not take in any arguments. Let's try this out. So with the database highlighted, we'll go to tools and select query tool. Then we'll type in select postgis full version. It's a function that does not take in any parameters. So our version is 3.0.1. So when writing SQL, um, rather select queries uh, usually write the select command then you give it the name of the column or columns and then a from so the from then the name of the table and then where gives it a condition and then you can give it an algebraic condition or a boolean so you can have where something is equals to something and or you can use or to check a certain parameter so for example we have a table called nyc neighborhoods and within that table there is a column that is called name so we are trying to select the names from the table nyc neighborhoods where borrow name which is an attribute is equal to Brooklyn so only where we have the borrow name being equal to Brooklyn let's try this out select name so this is the table and I see neighborhoods so select name from let's just see that table and see the columns so you have a name and you have a column called borrow name so we select name from NYC. You can also uh, specify the schema public dot NYC. That is if you have more than one schema. So one can be public, another private. But since we have only one, we'll just go ahead and write NYC neighborhoods. Now we are giving it a condition where Um, the borrow name is equal to Brooklyn. I hope that I spelled that right. So first of all, this table does not exist. If you see this kind of error relation does not exist, it means we might have given it the wrong name. So the neighborhoods has an O like that. So these are the results we get. These are the only neighborhoods which have a borrow name being Brooklyn. So these are all of the neighborhoods in Brooklyn. If you want to get all of the uh, columns, you just select, you just type a uh, star or an asterisk instead of specifying the specific column name then you can remove that and if you run this you get uh, all of the values in the table 
you can also limit your results so you just write limit and then you give it a number so if you, if you write limit one then it results it returns only one result you can also apply a function to the select queries and for example this function checks the length of the names that is the character length so um, it selects the name column and checks the length of the character and this is from the NYC neighborhoods table where borough name equals to Brooklyn so in order to write a function you specify the function name and then give it the um, parameter which is the column name so to try that I'll just go back to the previous command that we typed in and we are going to check the character length so there are various other functions special functions though character length is not a special function there are various other functions that can be used so if I run this then you should get the character length of each of those neighborhoods now we can also um, add a column of the name itself so that we know which name has what character length then run that so as you can see we have the name and the character length now we can also group our select query results for example in our case we have a select and we want to check first the borrow name column then you also want to check the average length of the names and also the standard uh, deviation length of the names from the neighborhoods grouping them by the column borrow name so if they share the same uh, borrow name then they are grouped together let's try that out so let's uh, write select and you want first to select the name that you are going to be grouping by which is borrow name and then the average length of the characters and the column is the name then you also want to check the standard deviation of the length of the characters and it takes in the name column again and then we want to give it a where condition rather first let's say from which table we are, we are selecting it so from NYC neighborhoods where borrow name instead of giving it a condition we'll just group it first by the borrow name sorry so you see there are four types of borrow names there is queens rather five queens brooklyn staten island the Bronx and Manhattan and these are the average and standard deviation lengths of the name column that's it guys see you in the next tutorial where we start checking um, geometries and guys if these tutorials are helpful to you in any way consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to give this video a like bye